Yo, 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 guys, what is good? Frank got the pack here today. I'm bringing you guys another upload. Today, we're going to be uh, giving you guys something that's completely necessary if you're a producer, you're trying to make it in the industry. Uh, this goes along with, in, in my video, how to blow up as a music producer. So today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to collab with other music producers. Go ahead and open up FL Studio. It doesn't matter what you're making beats on. You can collab with anybody. Doesn't matter what you're using. Doesn't matter what they're using. I'm just going to teach you how to do it properly. Basically, how a collab works uh, as a producer is one person makes the melody and one person does the rest. I'm going to teach you how to do it from both ends, whether you're sending the melody or receiving the melody, and I'm going to teach you how to go from there and formulate a full song. So if you were on the side of making the melody, you would do it as usual, open up open up FL Studio, um, you're going to have, you know, your typical whatever, make your melody. Uh, when it's a collab, you want to have more than like, say, say these are my chords, okay? Um, this is it. Now, okay, that works, it sounds good. Um, but the thing is, you wanna have different melodies going on, you know what I mean? So they can formulate a verse or a hook and structure it much more. So this is my full melody. Now, what you would do, is you see these little squares right here you're gonna click the first one and then you're gonna hold control shift and while holding control shift you just want to highlight all of these once you've done that you want to go here right click on the number one and go to route selected channels to this track now that is going to bring all of these sounds into the mixer so once you're in the mixer you want to just right click on this dot Okay, that's the piano. Now you're gonna, you basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna figure out what instrument is what. So you're gonna right click, rename, name this whatever you want. I called this Lil Mosey keys. Boom, that's that's one instrument. Right click the next one. Okay, right click. I don't even know what I call this rough lead bell. It it doesn't matter. Just it, this is just so the person that receives it when they drag it in they know what instrument it is it makes it easier on their end uh, right click the next one okay I called that marimba bells I'm pretty sure that's what the instrument is called and then we have the lead okay now we have all of our melody next before I, I, I forget you don't have to do this I'm sure the next producer would appreciate it is mix it to some extent you guys can see just make it sound good all together you know i wanted this in the background so i have it really quiet um everything else is you know fairly close to the same volume but where i wanted it um now what you're gonna do is once you have that all done you know this is all done so we're gonna go uh minimize this go onto your home screen Okay, your desktop, I mean. So once you're on your desktop, you want to right-click anywhere and go to New Folder. And whatever you want the melody to be, we're going to name it. So one thing that is necessary is the BPM because the next producer is going to need that. So what we're going to do is we're going to, okay, 160 BPM. I've already I've already done a collab with this, but I'm, I'm just showing you guys for the sake of this. So we're going to rename this whatever uh, tutorial. This would be the title of the beat. Make sure you name it whatever you saved it. Because if they need to go back, you know, and see, like, say they they say, oh, I deleted this, resend it. You, you're still going to have the file. So, we're just going to call this tutorial 160 BPM. Boom, done. If you want, add your name. If, if it's a producer, you already know. It doesn't matter. But just add, like, prod, whatever. Okay, so that's there now. Go into FL Studio, File, Export, WAV. Now, you can do MP3, but what I'm about to show you is not capable with MP3 files. So, go to the desktop and find whatever you just made. I believe I called it Tutorial. So, boom, right here. 
tutorial. Save. Make sure this is completely necessary. Split mixer tracks. That is what we just did when we renamed all of them. And then just hit start. Boom, done. Collab is ready to send. Almost. Go into your tutorial tab. Now you're gonna see they're all named the same thing, but over here on the side uh, is all of the um, mixer names. So one thing that's always gonna export that you need to delete is the one named current. So you guys can see right here, current, delete that. What that is, it's basically just the master, but the master is right here. So what the master is, is that's all the melodies together. So I'm just gonna call this master. This is so when whoever you're collabing with can listen to it without having to drag everything into FL Studio or their DAW. So we're just gonna click this. Now they're like, okay, this is the master. Let's hear what the melody sounds like. There you go, you get it. They have the melody. Now they're like, okay, I wanna work on this. So what we're going to do is we're going to rename. Just right click. You'll see at the end that's whatever you named it. So we're going to call this lead. Okay, this one is low mosey keys. Boom. This one is marimba bells. And this one is rough lead bell now perfect now i'm gonna show you guys um i i've already done a collab with this shout out overseas official if you're watching this shout out to you um now i'm gonna show you now you would send them this um since it's a wav file you would need to right click and send to compress zip folder do that it'll do do its thing you know you will get this this is what you email. I sent that melody out, and this is what I received. You can see he added variation due to the different melodies. You guys see, you guys can hear all the different variations with the melodies. It's not just the same thing all the way across. Shout out overseas. See, now it's just keys. It allows him to do whatever he wants. And then you'll hear everything kick in after this. Regardless, there you go. Quality melody, that, that, that's how it works. Now... If you were on the other end, you were the one receiving the melodies. I'll show you how that works. So, you would receive this. Open it, and this is what you get. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna file new. Uh, yeah, sure, save changes. So as you guys saw, we saved the BPM in the title. So 160 BPM, so boom, now I know. Drag this up to 160 BPM. That's what we're gonna be working with. Open it up, take everything, drag it into FL Studio. Boom, here we go. All the melodies are here. Now, you need to delete the master because the master is just all of these in one file and you don't want that. So, now we have these. Now, what you would do is, you know, just structure this however you want. I'm going to go with the keys first. You guys see what I'm saying? Now, you would just do the usual, you know, add your drum. All right, so that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. If I helped you in any which way possible, make sure to drop a like, sub, and drop a comment, whatever you guys want to see next. I upload beats, tutorials, and knowledgeable videos. Thank you for watching. Peace.